Today, the Internet experience is, consists of going to lots of different websites, typing in keywords into search engines, clicking on links, filling out forms, copying and pasting. It's a lot of work. Uh, what we're trying to do at Siri is, is, is bring the notion of a personal assistant, a virtual assistant who can help you automate the Internet, help you get things done in a way that's fast, fun, and friendly. Siri is a spin-out of SRI International and the Kalo project. Uh, Kalo was a DARPA-funded project, probably the largest AI project in history. And the goal was to take lots of different technologies from dialogue and natural language understanding, vision, speech, uh, machine learning, planning, reasoning, service delegation, and integrate them all into a single assistant, a human-like assistant that can help you get things done. Um, what we're doing is we're taking uh, all of those technologies, figuring out how to integrate them in a commercial and scalable way, and really apply it in a practical setting for our users. Well, there's always this problem of making, re reducing research to practice. And in AI, they have this expression called, it's AI complete problem. And we have lots of AI complete problems in facing us in, in the commercialization of technology, meaning that any one of these problems, natural language, evidential reasoning, service invocation, uh, speech understanding, all of these could t consume any number of PhD theses. Uh, what we do at Siri is take the best uh, ideas from those and concentrate on the commercialization and the, and the usability and the reliability and the scalability of these technologies. So, of course, we cannot uh, prove new theorems in, in evidential reasoning, but we're going to get something that's very robust under the query stream of a huge population of, of normal consumers. And that's the engineering, that's the reducing the practice that we've done with, with the Kalo research. In five to ten years, we believe that everyone will have a virtual assistant. So we see a paradigm that becomes more intelligent and more personal than anything that the market has today, such as search and other typical ways that people access information and actions. Over time, uh, your virtual assistant becomes your right-hand man, so to speak, and becomes a very important daily part of your life, things that you're delegating, um, how to schedule things, and some of the typical tasks that people use personal assistants for today. Well, the big difference here being the fact that personal assistant is something that only an executive in a big company can afford. We want to bring that paradigm to uh, the mass media or the mass market. A virtual assistant, it's a great metaphor and it will inspire a lot of expectations about um, what, uh, what you can expect from it. Um, Siri is going to be able to help you do things that you can already do on the internet, but much more efficiently. Uh, much more context aware, much, much more uh, personalized, much more about you and your needs. Imagine the ability to literally talk to the internet through conversation through your virtual assistant that gets to know you as you use it, that gets better as you use it, and becomes more important to the way you do things in your everyday life. That's what we're building at Siri. Um, I think now with Siri it's really the first time um, that everything is lining up. We have an incredible team, and with the economies of scale, with the amount of web services that are available, uh, the structured data that's available, the technologies are mature, there are devices. I think now's really the time to take this vision, bring it to market in a, in a big way.